Oh, what's the answer? Pendulum slinks, pendulum slink. Wait, this ain't a link. Just a Uno card with the blue three. Hello, Play Gamer here, and this is the other Yu Gi Oh video, maybe the first one. I really don't know. Okay, what we're going to talk about is the new link format, but what could fit with the link format? Pendulums? I don't know if pendulums can do. But uh, right when they first introduced pendulums, they said it would, uh, the tutorial video said it would be good for fusion, synchro, and XC summoning. And those are all extract monsters, so I'm wondering what if it could go good with um, links. If it could go good with links at all. If, if it's good for all extract monsters, it could be good for link. Um, there are some people right now going to switch to pendulums because pendulums do su uh, do summon faster monsters and just summon link monsters, so you can summon a bunch of extra monsters. But I'd rather just pendulum summon uh, just monsters, no extra decks. Just like pendulum summons, just pendulum summon a bunch of monsters with higher attack points and just tag him for game instead of just trying to summon the monster that you just want to play which is just a waste of time. So, um, I don't know if I should do pendulums. Like, I've got four pendulums, uh, pendulum monsters right here that are really, really known, well known, I guess. Like, for example, there's Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Stargazer Magician, Time Gazer Magician. I don't know if this is gonna be well known, but Foreign Pal Coin Dragon. And I'm thinking I'm going to switch the pendulums as well because they do go good with all extra with summoning extra deck monsters. But I don't know if I want to switch to Dinosaurge, which is the OP powerful deck with no extra deck monsters, which would still be a good deck, I guess. But uh, what other decks, what other decks can go good? Really. But I just think pendulums are a good thing for uh, links, but the extra deck is meant to be for other monsters. And and I do not know why they put Link Summoning in there. But I don't know if people are going to be now doing not Pendulum uh, decks, Link decks, Link Monster decks. Like, there's one deck I'm very interested in. It's these Link Dragons deck. Like, uh, I saw I saw uh, episode 10 of Japanese. It was, it was the only thing to find. Don't call me, don't think I'm a weeaboo right now. Um... It then released for a U.S. Uh, dub version, but uh, I'm just thinking Link Dragons might be my thing. But the question is, how am I going to special summon a bunch of monsters onto the field? And I'm thinking, what if pendulums? No, but yes. Yes and no. We all really don't know. But um, still... There's some decks, and I'm thinking, what if pendulums are the answer to everything? Because uh, some people use the pendulums. I'm thinking about half the people in this world that play Yu-Gi-Oh! will be using pendulums. But there are still a lots of decks that don't need extra decks that are still good and powerful. But I just think pendulums are worth it. Because with this pendulum deck fits with extra deck monsters. So, if you're using a pendulum deck with no extra monsters, that's actually a pretty good idea if you have no extra deck monsters. But if you're using extra deck monsters, it could be difficult for you for what, something you want to summon. But no, you have to summon something that actually will help you win. Or just summon a bunch of monsters, like I said, attack for game. But, uh... That's what I really want to talk about for this first Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Maybe first Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So, uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, subscribe, like, and also comment down below for which deck you're about to play for this new Link format. And it's, and it's, about, and it's about to be August, so the Link format should be coming up. So now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Bye-bye, gamers and duelists.